Hello guys and uh, welcome back to Noobs TV. I'm Cause and Effects. We have had a brief break, but we are going to be streaming the match between Randall and Dom. And Dom, uh, Randall apparently needs a new wire, so excuse me for a sec. Um, Jordan's going to sort that out for us, which is uh, really nice of him. I'm going to get this chair out of the way. Silly chair. Right, so we are going to be seeing Dom versus Randall in a 1v1 on Black Ops 3. And they. Uh, Dom has no video capture apparently, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and sort that out as well. Bear with me for two minutes, guys, alright? I will be back. Okay. Sorry about that guys, we are back. Um, apologies about that, we just had to quickly sort out part of the stream. Uh, we will be seeing Randall and Dom kicking off very shortly um, in a 1v1 in the best of five. So the uh, first four maps will be the standard competitive maps and the last map will be Nuke. Okay, so we're, uh, <laughs> you see them at the far end of the lounge on the lounge cam, uh, the floor cam as it were, um, right at the back there. Dom's on the right hand side and uh, I'm just going to give him the thumbs up to let him know we're ready and Randall's just going to put his headset on and then they'll be going into the game. So what we will do is we will head over to them now and check out what's going to go on. So the first map they're going to play on is Fringe and all of these game types are going to be hard points. So they're going to be playing a best of five on uh, hard point. First to three wins, they're going to be playing for five COD uh, battle points. So, this this is where it stands at the moment. So, if we quickly take a look at the scoreboard, you can see that Randall is in first place at the moment with 150, but Don only trails behind by five anyway. So, this could put them both joint first, which is uh, going to get messy between them because they're already competitive as it is. Um, and I really cannot wait to see how this goes down. So we'll start off with Randall and we'll see how he gets on from there. Uh, fingers crossed you guys get to see a good match. So here we go. Seven seconds before we go in and all to play for. So both of these guys, very, very dominant Slayer type players. Um, and it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Randall already complaining of lag. Um, see, he is lagging a bit, but they've agreed to take it in turns in hosting anyway, so I'm expecting it to, to go either way. Dom at the moment, just holding down his position. He's going to get flanked to take it from behind by Randall, so a good move there by him. Uh, and it means that Dom's on the respawn now, coming from the same direction as Randall did uh, originally from the start of the game. Now, excellent frag, good reactions there by Dom. He's uh, going to hold down this point just for a little while. And it looks like he's... Yeah, he's still on the point. That's, that's cheeky. He's being contested. Oh, where is it? There he is. And Randall came out on top of that one. So both Dom and Randall, very animated in real life. They get very excited in store. And we don't get tired of watching that. So hopefully neither will you. Dom now having trouble reclaiming this point. Randall holding it down really well and again 
So he is going to take the early lead the in this game. Uh, at the moment. Uh, he is 30 points up to 13 for now. The, uh, the hard points moved and Randall's already on it. And there we go. There's the reflag. Dom getting back in the game now. Holding down this point. There's the respawn. Didn't quite get his crosshair in place like he wanted to. Um, so Dom's headset was getting annoying for him. He's got some earbuds in. He's uh, just throwing them away now. Randall really quickly on the, on the comeback there. So holding down. He knows where the spawn's coming in. Didn't quite get that frag. <clears throat> so. There we go. Dom unfortunately not holding down that position. He's going to have to go for the retake. Really interesting watching these guys play because as, as individual players they are exceptionally strong. Dom now knows that he's going to hold out for the rotate knowing exactly where the next point is. And he's hoping Randall's going to... There he is. Yep, good. Well played. Just being patient. Knew that it would work to his advantage. He knows that he's coming up this way now. Didn't quite get any hit markers from that. He's going to watch the window at the back. It's not going to happen. Randall's throwing him by just going for the blatant obvious through the front window. Dom now up on the window sill. Gets the frag. Gets back in. Gets that hard point back. All really good. He knows about the spawns. That was quick. That was a quick respawn. And uh, Randall was placed especially close then, I feel. That was uh, pretty unlucky. And Randall's come out of the point now to try and contest it. Oh, this is intense. What's going to happen? Oh, no. Oh, he's backed off. Backed off. Oh, well. Randall holding it down there for the team. Hard point Keeping identified. things good. And by team, I mean Hard himself. <laughs> No, Randall is wicked. Uh, both Randall and Don play well together. They're, they're extremely intuitive. They're, they're really well tuned into one another's gameplay style. Um, but they're all quite similar. So, lots of spray downs. There's the frag that Don needed. He's back onto the, the hard point. And now it's uh, already under contested status. And Randall will get that frag hopping down off the wall. It's down to Dom to get the retake again. He's got to make a few points up. That's a great frag there. VMP not something that I expect people to use well over distance, but these guys really do use it well. He is trailing at the moment by a considerable amount of points, so he really needs to get these next few kills and uh, start bringing it up. So they need low with the VMP. Hard point lost. So hard point identified. To compensate for the fact that the spray on it is, is pretty. Outlandish once you've uh, released your first four or five bullets, it really starts getting out of hand quickly. That gun, really good so not gun game, I'm afraid. Kai Rover, it's uh, hard point, best of five, and it's a 1v1. So these guys will be facing off for just five uh, battle points in store. To see how Randall's going to approach this. Dom on the defensive. Hard point lost. Doesn't get the drop. See, <laughs> Randall caught looking the wrong way. He's got confused about his spawns. So Dom's already choosing to move on to the next point. There's Randall. Uses the Elo site as well and gets the pick. So switching up his weapon. Proving to be useful, so he's just spotted Randall. Or what he thought to be Randall. He's going to make himself nervous. Hard point the Twitch. There it is, there's the frag. Good game sense, good understanding of the spawns there by Dom. Really taking advantage of that. These guys are really tight on these maps, they know how they work. It literally comes down to reactions and awareness um, between these two, and as you can see, it can go either way very quickly. Dom on the comeback big time now, really holding down this. Really awkward hard point if you ask me. So many areas to enter from, but he understands the spawns. He knows it's going to take Dom's, you know, Randall so long to get to a certain point. 
looks like Randall's just going to hold off and wait for the, the point to change with only 7 seconds left. So giving him a huge advantage there. Giving him like an extra 15 points in total by going and leaving the point. So, interesting. But it means he's already established on that point. It doesn't matter. Dom will get the pick and will gain entrance to the hard point. Already waiting on the next spawn. Already active. And there it is. There's the drop. Good 180 turn and spray there by Dom. Good perception. He switched back to the uh, VMP for the uh, close quarters combat. Definitely holds the advantage and having the iron side means he's not as obstructed to his view. So here comes Randall again Hard through the main tested. window. And there's the slide to take him by surprise. The reaction gets him the advantage and he does take the point. So taking a look now through Randall's screen, he is suffering a little bit. But uh Dom's on the uh on the comeback, so just didn't last. I head over to the uh, the face-off camp so you guys can see exactly what both of them are up to. And this moment in time, there they are. There's the conflict, and you see Randall loses out on that one. Hard point contested. Hard point. Hard point lost. The way things are going at the moment, very awkward how they've contested. So we're having to bait each other out. That's unfortunate. Dom does go down. Randall with a fantastic control spray there. <laughs> but there's your answer. There's your reply from Dom. Just to see him go over the left side. There it is. There's the frag. Decent peak. Seen him again. Can he reload? Can he reload? He's up on the wall. Is he going to react? He's dropped down. Oh, you see nothing more. There he is. Doesn't quite get the frag. Randall will contest the point. Moving on now, ready for the next one. Down here in mid. I like to call it the kill zone, the suicide zone. Yeah, right, man. We'll just stream the match. So, yeah, yeah, Dom and Randall are in the middle of a 1v1 at the moment. They're just starting the first round with the best of five. So, playing the hard point for five battle points. So, at this moment in time, it's pretty close, but uh, Dom's got the lead at the moment. It's first to 250. So, we oh, just got that pick there, so we will hold down the point for the quite, moment. Quite even, though. Yeah, well, these guys are tight. It's between two of them, there's not much between them. So it's just quite a tough one to see Yeah, well, both of them also want a tournament. So, <laughs> realistically, there, there hardly is anything between them. Both of them should, are should be a good matchup, then. Both of them are slayers. Both of them are, you know, play the game as, as part of the team's design. And they think it's Getting a bit confused about the spawns there. Randall will take advantage of that. Is this going to be close? I'm going to have to go back a bit. Do you know Name. It's one of our uh, another member of Velocity actually. Uh, he's their, their CS representative. We'll, uh, we'll head back over to Dom. And as you can see, is ours. this is going to be a close game. He's leaning in now. You can see the look of concentration. He's got that frag. That should give him enough time to at least get his score to tie. He doesn't face too heavy. Oh no, and he does go down just shy of the points he's got to get on this respawn really quick. That is a really nice close respawn. Good on him. And there, there's no kill for him there. This is getting close now. We're, we're into the last stage of the game, the last 50 points before the game ends. So this is really do or die for, for Dom now. He really needs to get back on that point. And he is, and he's got the frag, so here's his chance to make a comeback. That's how he's got to play. He's got to play cautious. Been contested, he knows he's behind him, he doesn't get the frag. Randall holding it down now. Dom taking a very slow, passive approach. He'd rather wait outside and get the pick, and then he can Hard jump in and claim the score. Randall now just 27 points shy of a victory, but Dom's score hurtling back towards the lead. He is going to take it, I think. Hard point contested. And it's been contested. Excellent use of the cover. Doesn't get the pick, though. This is very close for a first game. Here he comes now. 
can't wait for too long. He's got to push the point. There he is. Good game sense, good perception, great reactions. Gets the frag. This is really close between these guys. I'm not sure which way it's going to go now. We're hurtling towards the last 10 points. He's got moved towards the last point. Randall's got the advantage. He's got the frag as well. This is going to be tight. If Don doesn't get this frag, that's going to be game. Respawn too far away. He can't get there in time. Nope, and that was that man. Very lucky to duck down in the last second, so they're going to have a little handshake. <laughs> so, with an update to the scores, that puts Randall at one, taking an early lead. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Put the scoreboard up for you guys so you can see it. I really. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. That was an intense first game. That was really oh, great to watch. I'm so glad I put that. I'm so glad so I put that. So the other thing is they're taking it in turns to host because they know that the host stuff. has disadvantage um, as far as you know the <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a little bit of lag. Sixteen points. Um, yeah. We've done what we can, you know, in store to minimise it, but without greater understanding of. Uh, the game mechanics and that, and we're uh, we're still looking into to tweaking it to make it as optimal as possible for these guys. But they don't complain; they firm it, and they've agreed to take it. In so what they've said is, Randall will take host for game one and game three. Dom will take host for game two, which is next, and game four. And whoever wins game four will be host for game five. So. Uh, it's going to be interesting. What about me? <laughs> you win, you get the more You can see that uh, Dom Dom is getting five. Yeah. Five is Randall. Uh, he's using one of our accounts. Yeah, boy, you ready? Spare him having to buy the game again. So he's uh, an Xbox fan at home. That's what he plays when he's not during, you know, in the store. Which these days is rare, Randall really pretty much lives here as much as Dom does, you know, they, they both spend a huge amount of time here, they practice regularly, they practice together, nearly non-stop, so these guys, they, they know one another really well, uh, and they're just going to be thumbs up, they're ready to go for the next game, so we will start off with Dom here, we will be hosting this one, I Nevertheless, not to not to worry. This is what happened last time. I won first, Bab. You won second. I won first. Hopefully, seeing some awesome frags now on Eva. So again, this map, both players are strong at these map lines. I don't think that any of them they're particularly weak on, to be honest. These guys practice so much. So you're gonna pick e that's really, my best strong Really no hell to. No, it's my best strong map. It's, strong map. And it's, it's just great to see. So we're just gonna wait for the uh, the countdown to go through. Um, I also believe that they've agreed not to play with any kill streaks. So there will be no things like wraps or anything getting in the way. Um, not that I expect any of them to live long enough to get wraps, but no UAVs or anything. They've, they've, they've decided, you know what, let's just rely purely on our skill and our knowledge of the game. And I don't think you can have a fairer 1v1, to be honest. Um, there's, there's no better way to, to go against an opponent that you respect. Hard point locked down. So, there we go. He's on the hard point. Nearly made his first down. There's the jump. Randall caught out on the floor. Unfortunately for him. It just wasn't meant to be. So Don will take the early uh, point. He will go down and Randall will begin accumulating points himself now. It's both on the board very quickly, very early on. Dom now ready to enter the site and retake the point. point yeah, well noticed. Caught Randall desperately trying to scurry up to higher ground to get the advantage and just caught on the drop. So very unfortunate there for Randall. There it is. And again, really, really big movements from both players. How they continue to aim at one another during all of that is beyond me. He will get caught out on the early rotate. Dom there, being a bit cheeky, 
trying to get to the next point early and Randall will catch him off guard so he knows he's on that left hand side but has he gone up the stairs? I don't think so because it's still contested but he is in that corner so that was well played by Dom took the time to notice that and pay attention to it we will contest this point eventually in the next few seconds and I don't think Dom's sure about it so there he is fantastic game sense for these guys knowing how the spawns operate you know, they're not just looking in one direction and being ignorant noobs that only look in one direction. They they genuinely have a good idea of where these guys, you know, their opponents will come from. So, we'll swap it up now and head over to Randall and see how Randall's coping. Uh, using his nades pretty aggressively, almost as a, a deterrent, you know, saying, don't come this way, I'm watching. But, you know, very cleverly using them across two different doors, so doubling the effect, potentially, or covering more ground, as it were. So, taking the dual nades is not a bad idea, because it can do plenty of damage. It make getting that frag easier. But right now, Randall's struggling to, uh, to take the point back. Dom has really, really taken this point aggressively, uh, and is using it to his advantage. Um, to, to watch him fire and hold down off when he's on the defensive and he lost his face but he's over that push down the open but still gets the frag <laughs> call out from Randall there jokes between the lads are real uh, and non-stop in store actually so it's good to see that their sense of humour is still there Dom now really dominating this point doing really good work here it's going to be the first to top 100 points and uh, unfortunately, Randall just can't get these frags to land, and it's, it's costing him. Don't we move on now to the next point? Um, I'm not so sure it's going to go the way he wants it to, although he is on the flank. This is interesting. Ah! <laughs> so he was behind him the whole time. There you go. That's the way it is, folks. In you know, paranoia is real. It's, or rather, it's not paranoia. You know, they really are behind you. Good refrag there by Dom. He's going to get the point back and continue accumulating and extending that lead as much as he can. There's a good frag. <laughs> Him and Randall still having a bit of banter between the two of them. It's uh, definitely been nothing less than fun to watch through the perspex outside of the booth of these guys. They, uh, they really do enjoy this game, they enjoy the most company and the competition that that offers. So, Dom already on this next point, he's already hurtling towards 150 points and Randall's not even generated a third of that yet, so it's going to be hard for him. There we go, there's the push, he sees him. Oh no, he's fallen through the gap. That was unfortunate, very unfortunate. Nim's just coming down to sit next to him there, that's who you saw on screen. I don't know if that counted as a little bit of a distraction, maybe. But uh, a little slide because he's back on the point and accumulating again. Maybe if I'm going to this time, I feel it, there it is. There's the frag, that's going to give him his 150 on the score. Definitely we're going to be close between these two guys. Randall, really, you know, only just slightly off. Oh, wow. That was unlucky for Dom. <laughs> you can see his reaction in the camera. Um, they, they really do have a laugh with one another. I'm heading back over to Randall now, who's uh, hurling towards his next point. He's just been there by Dom. But he gets the frag. Good job. So, Dom, you know, not the only person rocking the elo now. And that's, that's surprising. Because I was expecting... Randall to, to despise the ELO, you know, he, he tells me all these scrubs that use ELOs, and they're not, not his cup of tea, He's, he says that regularly, so Randall with the entry and the spray will go down, he's been flanked, very cheeky manoeuvre there by Dom, really quite impressive, these guys constantly having to adapt and outthink one another because they're so used to one another's playstyle. Uh, and he's done him again. <laughs> same tactic for Randall entering the hard point, but same outcome 
for Dom, but from a different view, uh, from a different part of the, uh, the area to hold down his court. Dom on the move, so how's he going to play this? And he's confident. Oh no, he's come up behind him! <laughs> what a manoeuvre by Dom there! Just really, really sneaky, using that lower wall to his advantage. The one thing that Dom does a lot more than Randall is uses the wall line ability to, to really work his way around the map and uses it to a huge advantage. Oh, there we go. So, again, Dom coming out on top of this. He's really dominating on this map. Not giving the slightest chance. He does go down to, to Randall's nades, but he takes him down as well. So, all's fair in love and war. There we go, there's the frag. Don will continue taking this hard point. He will move on though, because it's nearly over. Um, Randall spawning behind him. This is interesting, he's trying to bait him out. And it's not happening. Randall, Randall's on the point. Uh, wow, frustration for Randall there, as Don gets the frag. And... Uh, it looks to me like Dom's taking this next round. It's uh, it's pretty much locked in unless Dom goes on a huge loss and fails miserably. But I don't think it's going to happen. All he needs is another, what, 15 seconds? On a score point, you know, a half point. There come the nades, and those were good nades. Well played by Randall there. So he's got his connected armor. He can spawn back in. We'll go down. That's fine. It's not like he hasn't got enough score to, to, to buffer him. There it is, there's the frag that's probably going to get him the win. He may have to frag one more time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he will. But there's the nades, we know where he's coming from. And there's the kill, and that gives him the win. So, well back to Dom there. I really took you know, the, the pressure off by bringing it back 1-1 now. Um, it looks like this is going to go to, to an end game. This is probably going to be a five round match by the looks of it. It's the first three. What do you mean? But this, this, this no of these guys, they'll, they'll go low in each way. way. One will just edge away. Mm, and that's me beating me. So these guys end up every time. Yeah. Yeah, the fuck so you have uh, got PC. <laughs> I want that PC. Uh, oh, we're changing. The, the banter is good in the lab. I'm changing. You want to find me a break? Okay. Do one right, more. Well, you guys are cool no, for a five minute break, so we'll do the same ahead to a break uh, in the meantime. So stick with us. We will be back uh, in about five minutes, like I said. So just chill and, and we'll continue and we'll have another three games in a couple more minutes.
Okay, guys, we are back. Sorry about the uh, delay there. But uh, we're just now waiting for them to set up the next game. And uh, we'll be going straight back to it. So that's the lads ready. So we'll uh, be heading into the next game. 1-1. And now, it's, as it stands, it's 1-1 one, one between them. So, once around all, we've got to three maps left to play. First with three. And they're going to be heading over to uh, Breach now for the third map. And we'll start with Randall, who's uh, going to ban Rapid Fire. Um... So both choosing kinetic armor. So they're going to be playing a similar game. <laughs> All their classes are fine. And uh, from what I can see, yeah, they're just not going to bother banning stuff because they know they haven't got any of that stuff set up. So skipping the score streaks altogether. As we can see, we're going to be going into Breach now. So, Breach the third map. They've played on Fringe, they've played on Evac, they will play on Breach now. And uh, we'll see how it goes for them both. Got their class up. Just waiting for the timer to tick down, and then they will be setting off again. Um, now again, both players really strong at this map. These guys practice these maps nearly every day, all day. They play GBs on the Playstations, they play uh, Arena on, on the Steam Machines. And they're both well versed and practiced. Straight in on the point, Vandal there. Taken from behind by Don, really smart play there. Did really well. So, Randall now on the respawn. Let's see if he can get the sight back and, and start taking some serious points away from Dom. He spotted him. He's seen him. Oh, there it is. There's the frag. The patient man will persevere. Well played by Randall. It's difficult, you know, when you, you've just come off a game where your opponent's really got away from you with their score. You, you have to play it patiently uh, and not lose your composure, which isn't easy. But Dom there, who we will head over to now. But I'm struggling to hold down this point for any particular length of time. So this is going to be a closer start to the game. Um, and I don't mind that necessarily, because I think these guys need it to uh, drive them forward more. Randall finally starting to take an advantage. He's just been seen on the road. There he is in the point. There he is. Is he going to get the flag? No, he couldn't turn it over. The jump with Randall. Really clever, you know. Most people wouldn't jump in that situation because of how claustrophobic it is in there. There's not much room for him to jump anywhere. Sneaky. There it is. So Randall, not, not gonna fall for it. He's clued up. He knows what's up. So here we go again. Oh. <laughs> Sneaky manoeuvre by Randall there, right underneath him. Gonna move on to the next point. Dom's just gonna cut his losses and hopefully start claiming this one instead. Just gotta wait a few more seconds. Of course this does mean that he does give Randall an advantage and it is Randall that was starting to break away there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Good reactions by Dom. Well done. He's going to change his position up now. I hope that Randall won't figure it out. Hard point contested. There it is. Oh, and he comes out on top again. So, it seems that, that Randall's better off in small confined spaces, despite the fact that he likes jumping around a lot more. And Dom seems to perform better in the open spaces. So, th these are crucial differences between the two of them as players that determines which one of them will come out on top, you know, for the, the site when it's being contested, when they're, when they're facing off against one another. And uh, it's really good to watch, you start really noticing the little niches, the little habits of these guys, um, 
unfortunate there, just didn't check his corners. Perhaps he thought he would be somewhere else. Dom's going to move on now, knowing that the point's going to end. Uh, and try and get to this point and minimise what Randall can do. Right, just going to casually, you know, stroll in. He's crouching to try and minimise his sound. Watching closely now. At these corners, Randall was in that corner and he will be caught out looking the other way. So, Dom now had started his comeback with that last point, but it looks like Randall might start edging away. There he is. Can he get the frag? No, it doesn't quite land it. I get all those hits. Gonna have to respawn again. And this is quite a distant respawn as well. He's, he's losing precious seconds just having to travel back only to get killed again. So, it's really up to him to get his job done. That was a really good retake of the hard point there. He did really, really well to, to rush Randall and force the, the issue. Just going to wait now for a little while. Hopefully Randall will peek his head through and he'll get an easy frag. Doesn't look like it. Looks like he's already moved on ready for the next point. And he has. He's already on it. So we'll head back over to Randall. Who is sitting on this point. Waiting now for Dom. Who is going to come through this doorway. There he is. And unfortunately Dom you know, comes out on top. He is taking... Randall, uh, you know, and, and putting him back down in second place. If he keeps this up, he doesn't quite manage it. So Randall will retain his lead, although it is slender at the moment. You're failing to your work core. On it. Fight harder. Oh, he spotted him. There we go. Come on, boy. There we go. Yep. So he will contest. He will get the frag, and, and Dom now will establish some more points. He is slowly catching up to Randall. Randall probably just going to give him that point and let him move on. Hard point so back into the middle now. So this is where we expect Randall point. to come out on top. Hard point that was very sneaky. <laughs> Jumping up on top, me and Randall questioned whether or not he was going to go over. It didn't matter because Randall didn't move. He was he was steady, ready for that drop down. But I don't think he expected it. Good slide there lost. to escape the reactions of Dom on the spray. Don struggling to, to establish himself in this middle area. Will he face again? It's going to be close. He's taking a lot of hits. Oh, really? Then he does go down. Didn't have a chance to heal up, I'm afraid. So that will be to his disadvantage. This means that Randall can start breaking away and establishing that lead again. This is what's going to keep Randall one ahead. After this game, I should say, he will be one ahead, assuming he can keep this up. Dom's going to give him the position and just move on to the next. Hard point identified. He's uh, perfectly understandable. Uh, he sees him on the rotate, gets the frag. Hard and caught an awkward place down. there. He knew he was going to have to face him there. He's already already turned around. Um, it's going to be close. Oh, Hard point lost. That was unlucky. So. Randall's still establishing his lead, you know, he's, he's gradually creeping away from Dom. It's become a bigger gap now. Gets the kill with the wall spray. There he is. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, that ain't going to be how he wanted it to. He does get the frag though. That's really well done. Keelan Dumagan, I'm well, thank you. How are you? Good, sir. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining us. We are in the third match of potentially five in a, in a best of five. So first to three in a 1v1 between uh, Dom and Randall, both members of uh, Velocity Gaming. You see Dom at the moment trailing by a few points, but getting ready to make this comeback. This this area is, is his forte. This is the point that he likes holding most. So... This is where he started making his comeback before, and this is, by the looks of it, where he's going to make that comeback again. Meaning that the end game is going to be close. He is at a disadvantage, though, as uh, Randall plays all the other points very well. We'll head over to Randall now and have a look at what he's up to. And he is going to enter the site again through the main door. He is going to get the frag this time, and he will start taking the points, but... Not much time left on it. I think, you know, Don will contest it one more time. 
Bomb's not stupid. He knows. He knows what's up. There it is. There was the aim. There was the frag. At this point, I think, you know, yeah, he's going to leave it early. He knows he's got to push this next site to make the comeback. There's only 16 points between them at the moment. Oh, that was awkward. Trying to use the roof to his advantage. This is good, you know, this is good tactics. Gonna have to drop down, he needs to contest it. He can't afford to lose any more points. Randall behind him. There he is. Great tactics, great frag. Had to be patient, it cost him 18 points for that manoeuvre. So now he's really got to hold this down. And uh, so far, the last two times, he's been bested. So, how's it going, Ron? Nice to see you. That's Chris, if I'm not mistaken. You are joining us in a best of five between Dom and Randall in store for some co uh, battle points. And at the moment, as far as things stand, the score is sitting at 1-1 at present. We will have someone take the lead after this one, though. And at the moment, Randall leads only ever so slightly now. Dom has worked really hard to close this gap. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Be impatient. That was, that was a good frag. Well played by Dom there. Not a nice situation to be in. And this one, I, I don't like this point. This point's got too many awkward entries. Doesn't get the refrag. So Randall will continue to establish his lead. And we're going to watch Dom close up now because he needs to get this point. He needs to hold it down. And he needs to stop Randall from getting any more because he's only 14 points away from the win. And this is this point's only got 18 seconds left on it, 15 seconds now. So technically, if Randall holds it down, he will finish. Sliding in now, quick on the refrag. Well done, only six points shy. But if Randall gets on this next point, Dom needs those extra points. So he's going to slide towards mid now. He's going to get on the point. He needs to keep Randall away. He does. This is going to come down to it. This next kill is going to be crazy. So, the real tragic, sorry I haven't been in the shop, GCSEs have got me at the moment, don't you worry bro, we understand, but we will be here for your return, and look at that, Dom has just taken it away from Randall, right under his nose after he was in the lead that whole time, so that means that Dom is now 2-1 up, and only one more victory away from claiming those battle points. So this is it. This is now make or break time for Randall. He needs to get this next one tied up and go into the last game. Neither of them won that last game because it's new town. And as a result, it's absolutely hideous for both of them. Real close respawns wherever you are on the map. So you haven't got much time to be chill. It's, uh, it's nothing but panic from here on out. So you can see in the merge. <laughs> we'll merge over to the uh, the floor. <laughs> we see Dom and Randall at the back there. <laughs> All having a laugh with one another. Um, this is gonna, you know, be where it comes down to. This, this is the pinnacle moment now for for Randall. If he doesn't get this next map, he's gonna lose, and that will actually put Dom joint first with him for battle points on our individual leaderboards. And I'm curious to see which way this does go. Because these guys have been competing in tournaments to begin with. And now, since they've joined up on the battle point system, they've been going mad for it. We're all good, bro. You can, you crack on, mate. So they're going to head into the fourth map. And, uh, look at how both of them are doing right now. <laughs> little high five there. Knocks the webcam. So, yeah. see how they do. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna go through their bands and stuff. So with Dom establishing you know this lead now, he was 1-0 down to begin with, so he's just taken the last two maps and he's on a comeback. So one more map will establish him as the winner of this game. However, if Randall makes the comeback, they will be going to nuke, so it's all about Stronghold, which is his final map. Again, what can I say? Both of them practice it a ridiculous amount. There's not much between them on it as a map. And without the, you know, the score streaks, Dom gets a lot of his kills through score streaks. He uh, he stays alive. He gets the frags. He does his slaying. He plays objectives. 
gets those score streaks up and, and that allows him to accumulate a huge amount of kills. A lot of the time in store he'll end up going with like 70 frags or so. Randall on the other hand not using you know nearly the same score streaks will still end up with 70 frags but for entirely different reasons. Both of them you know really without the score streaks have to rely purely on their own skill and understanding of the maps and the game. Excellent attempt there by Randall. Nearly had a really intuitive response there by him. But doesn't get the hard point. So Dom is off to an early lead. He will get taken down. Randall will get on the hard point now for a little while. We'll see how long it lasts though. It's down to Dom to get the refrag. He spotted him. And there it is. Dom's going to hold that awkward angle for, for Randall and, and get the frag, get back on the point. Randall going to force the issue. Where is he? There he is. You spotted him, Randall. Good job. So, thank you very much to Real Tragic for popping by. We hope the GCSEs all go well and stuff, bro. But, uh, like I said, we are here whenever you're free. So, don't be a stranger. Let us know how the GCSEs go. So, there we go. The point's been contested. He spotted him already. Doesn't hold it down. Gonna have to go on the respawn. Dom now. Playing really well. He's uh, established a, a very, very mild lead. It's not much. Now going on the awkward rotate. Playing from behind and it works. Our point is ours. Expecting him to come from that side. So this is going to be curious. Here we come. About to come the side. There it is. Good frag, good reactions. Really quick response. Quick 360. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. And here he comes again through the same door. And he hears him and gets the drop. And there it is. Again. Another frag. This is where the lead starts to creep away. This is where Dom's going to start to have the advantage. Start playing the mental game on Randall. He will move on now. He will probably already be on this next point, and he is. There it is. There's the frag from Randall. He's going to have the early lead in this one. Whoa. <laughs> awkward. Very awkward. Someone's going to have to move. It doesn't have to be Randall at this time. Oh, there we go. Spray. A little tag on him. Really well held out between the two of them. You know, they're uh, using their maneuvers to the best of their advantage. He's going to hold down this point. He's got 180 as he sees him getting contested. They both jump up and Randall comes out on top of that little skirmish. So he will start closing the gap again. It's all down to this next spawn point, I think. He may contest it one more time. He may wait for the rotate. No, it looks like he's going to hold down the point and wait for the rotate. So that's interesting. I thought he might contest it just one more time to slow Randall down. But he's allowed him to make a comeback. It doesn't matter. Don will take the point. And we'll continue to hold it down. I'm really curious, these guys hang around the edge of the point a lot. I suppose you don't want to be out in the middle where there isn't any cover. Especially since Don got a bit confused about where he might be spawning from. And there's Randall jumping over, unfortunately, actually into the line of fire. Um, very unfortunate. So we'll come back in, he knows where he is. There's the spray and there's the takedown. Well played by Randall. Good retake. Now it's down to Dom. Inside how he's going to approach this. It looks like Dom's actually going to just give him the point. And that's going to allow Randall to take the lead. And only if it will be it for a, you know, a few seconds and by a few points. Oh no, Randall stopped. Hard point identified. He's moved on to the next Hard point. point. Okay, so Dom will establish the lead still. Although it really has closed up again. Both these players really, you know, stone hard, concentrated faces right now. Both of them really want this. I'm just getting some good hit markers there, but it's not enough. I mean, that head peek, and it's difficult. And jumping through that doorway is no picnic in the park either. So, Randall coming out on top of that as well. 
Nice place to hold down. Unfortunately, turns away just at the wrong time. Don will make the most of that and will continue claiming the points, although he at the moment is now in second. So it's down to Randall, who's just about to lose his lead again. There we go. To uh, make this comeback, he's got to get on this point. He's got to contest it. No, he's not. He's just going to let him have it. Okay, so he's going to wait for the next one. We've only got five seconds left until the respawn. Randall's going to hold this point down as best as he can. So, still very, very close. How Don came out on top of that one, I don't know. Randall had a huge advantage there. He didn't have much of Don to see. Don's being tested now. There we go. Don jumps into action and does get the frag. Heading back over to Don now. Hard point contested. And uh, we can see. But at the moment, he's uh, holding down this point from a really good position. And it's going to allow him to get some excellent accumulating points. It's going to allow him to start bridging that gap, you know. Or, or rather, breaking the bridge between that gap. Um, and he's going to try and hold down. Don't want to get to cover. He's going to break out and hold on to his life, I think, for a second. He's going to jump back. And we're going to get the frag. He does get the frag. Interesting. And he's straight on the next half point. He does break out for a second. He is going to bring back in. Being contested. Randall's behind him and he does get the drop on Dom. Dom goes down. That's the respawn. Hasn't got a particularly distant respawn either, so it shouldn't take him long to get back there. He's going to approach the site now. He's not in that corner. Where's he hiding? You've got to find him, Dom. There he is. Well played. Took it step by step, checked every corner, made sure he was going to commit to it, and he did, and it worked out really well for him. So it comes Randall now from the left hand side, flanks round. Dom on spawn now. He's going to watch. I think Randall's going to come out on top of this one. Oh, he's in the other corner. Took Don by surprise, was expecting him on the left hand side, but no, Randall mixing it up, keeping it interesting. Taking more pop shots. This is a close game. Oh no, the timing. Don's smiling, but he knows that that hurt him a little bit, because that's going to allow Randall to close that gap again. It doesn't matter too much. Don very quickly back on the case. Don's on his game today, and uh, I don't think Randall's quite with it. No, so usually he would have taken that as a pick. And he needs to do something now before this gets out of hand, because there's almost 50 points between them. He's been testing. He's going to get the frag. He's going to have to reload and he will go down as a result. So here we go. He's coming back to the point now. This is it. Is he going to get it? He gets the frag. Good job from Randall. Almost 50 points between them. He had to do something to close this gap down. Only six seconds left though, you'll probably find that Dom's left him to it. Yep, he's gonna give him the point. He's gonna wait for the rotate. Here comes Randall now. Unfortunately, caught in the prone position, couldn't maneuver enough, and uh, Randall's gonna take advantage of that and, and gain the point. Everything to lose now for Dom, who's just less than 50 points shy from you know claiming his victory and his battle points as a result. Needs to get back on this point and contest it. There's Randall. He does get the frag. And now this is it. This is where it's, you know, time for the game face. He's just spotted him. There he is, Vaughn. Are you going to get him? No, he doesn't. So it looks like to me Randall's going to have the rest of this point. Uh, there is 17 seconds left. So there is time for, for him to be contested. That's already Dom down the rest of this point, I should say. He's been caught out from behind by Randall, who's desperate for these extra piddly points. There are only a few, but they count, and that's why Dom shut him out. He said, I don't care how few they are, you're not having them. I'm going to take this point. Randall's going to get there first, I think. It's a long way to go. Now Dom just about picks into it, and will start accumulating those points. And this is close. I really thought Dom was going to go down then. I thought Randall had this. You see Dom holding out from this position. That's a nasty little spot to hold down. 
jump up from it and get that drop. It makes it very awkward to refrag. It's going to have to turn around. That was good game sense. He turns around at the right moment. Doesn't get the frag though, and that's for the best because Randall has to make these 50 points and not lose a single one. If he goes down, that's it. That's Dom's win. So if Dom going to get the frag, there's a lost frame. And Dom does get the frag, so this means that Dom's going to take this win. And it does mean that Dom does get his cod points. And that finishes up, up with Dom so many bullets in beating you. Randall 3-1. to one. And that will close out this yeah. match today. And we hope that you've enjoyed it. Fantastic ending kill by Dom there to get those last four points. And it really paid off well. Fortunate for Randall. Which we're on that one. We'll uh, yeah, see we'll about getting them in the booth. Yeah. Uh, and we'll have an interview with them. Uh, come and join me. I'll have a chair. So, 3 1. From 1 0 down. Yeah. Do you expect it to go that well? Didn't expect it that. No, because no, I mean, I you, you guys are usually tight, but I mean, that second map was pretty tight. The, the third map you absolutely dominated on. What was going on there? I mean, like, the, go the, through what the, was happening. The thing is, the first game, he just, that, that was such a close game. I thought on the last hill, I shouldn't put my kinetic if I was getting shot at, because it's going to wear, it's going to go faster. But um, second game, I just, I just kept on trying to spawn trap him and when with gunfights and that's what I did and we'd be in that second map to 250 to 100. Yeah. And that, that, that was a huge gap. That, that third game, that, the thing was the third game, it was, quite, it was quite close here and there. It was quite close throughout the whole thing. The third game intrigued me because Randall had the lead pretty much the entire game if only by a few points and you, you just stole it from under his nose. Yeah. Right at the last second as well. I mean, what was going through your head when you... You were getting towards the end game, and you guys were so close. I mean, you must have been nervous. I, I was. My my heart was beating beating so fast, and like um, on the on the third hill on the Platte Palace, I held back quite well. Like I was yeah. hiding in corners and going through different strategies I can do to win gunfights, and it worked. And when he when it was in greenhouse, he popped his kinetic, so I went top greenhouse just so it wears off and I won the gunfight. That, that was the, about the moment. Really. Yeah, that was a good moment because you were patient and that's hard when you're losing points. Yeah. So, I mean, well played to you. But, um, and then the, the last game, obviously, run, run me through I just, that. I just wanted to end it. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to get to that part. Neither of you want Nuketown. No, so, I did not want Nuketown. <laughs> because... I mean, Randall needed Nuketown, but yeah. he wanted Nuketown. It, it was it was that final game. It was quite it was quite close. Yeah. Um, a few mistakes that we both did. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was. I love, I enjoy the game. I think he's he's a brilliant slayer. He's one of my teammates from Velocity, so yeah. that's why I got him. Yeah, this is it. So I mean, you you guys obviously know a lot of what one another are like anyway. So having to think outside the box is always good because it helps improve you both as players anyway. But. In the meantime, this means that you are now joint first on the leaderboard yeah. with Randall, both on 150 points. So, congratulations for that, man. Cheers. Um, I don't know well if Rand I don't know if Randall's going to want to have a word on. That. I don't think so. I, don't, I think he's gone for a fag. Yeah, I can't blame him. That was pretty intense, and uh, I think he's got a bit shaken up from that. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave it as that for the time being. Okay, then, Paul. Thanks for joining me, mate. Thanks Thank for you. for the entertaining games. Thank you, Twitch. And, and we'll look forward to you later. I'll go and get him. <laughs> oh, so Randall will come over and have a chat with us. He's not a bad sport. Come oh, in. I know Matt said he's coming. Come in, mate. Grab a seat. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to Rocket League. Well, I mean, the good thing is, you, you're still first. You've just got to share that podium for, for a little while. You've got to share it with Dom. <laughs> you don't share his Maltesers. <laughs> Why should I share it with him? <laughs> okay, that, that is very true. Yes. Yeah, okay. So the reason why you have to share it with him, though, unfortunately, is because he beat you for five core points. Yeah. About one. So, but the question is, does this make your rivalry even worse? Yeah. Like, he is no longer my teammate. So does this mean that come the next tournament, 
next week. Is there going to be? Down. Is there going to be more than pixelated bloodshed? Is it going to get violent in here? He's going through the window. I don't want to have to hire some bouncers. He's going through the window. <laughs> <laughs> or the monitor, whatever's cheaper. I'll tell you what, let's talk about the game for a minute, because, I mean, you, you started off with the lead. You took the first game. Yeah. I mean, were you comfortable with how that went? Because that was pretty close. Yeah, some points it was him using the bloody man I wore, which one burst me all the freaking time. <laughs> the MA, that one burst me, and he knows it does. <laughs> And then I I remember putting on the Mano all class, so I just thought I'll just reckon with that. So. Yeah. There you go, so eye for an eye. Yeah, pretty much. But then, of course, you, you had another game. Unfortunately, Dom took that quite heavily. Yeah, the evac, he uh, camped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what I want to hear from you is, is your response about the third game, because, I mean, you, you held down the lead, albeit by the skin of your teeth at times, for the entire game. And, and then Dom literally just came and snatched it from you at the last minute. I mean, did, did you feel confident going into the end game? Did you think, I've just got to get this one more frag? Or were you a bit nervous? No, I, I knew where he was. I knew that if I didn't get that kill, then that would be it. And he just had the better shots on me, to be honest. Which is probably better because he was in the hills, so he knew where I was going to spawn. So he had better. But then, to be honest, I should have won it, the gun fight. But... I just didn't, but he's had more practice on the PCs today. No. You know what they say, you can you can learn more from a loss anyway, but yeah. obviously leading up to the next tournament, do you, do you still feel like Dom's your biggest threat, or do you think that there could be anyone else out there that might prove to be No, nah, it's probably Dom, but then hopefully if someone knocks him out the first round, I don't have to worry <laughs> about him, will I? Well, condolences on your loss. But then mate. we know, but we know if we if it's like last time where we get to pick a map, I'm picking Hunted, because I know he doesn't like it. <laughs> Team. They might be teammates, but they're still cold. Yeah. Anyway, well, thanks for coming in the chat and thanks for entertaining us all with the game, Randall. We do so, appreciate uh, it. You're still first. Still first. Still first. Still tied with Dom. That's it. So, well played, guys. There you have it. So you've heard it straight from here, from the two lads. The banter's real. What can I say? So <laughs> tell James to just do it. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. We're going to go offline for a little while. We will be back near 7 p.m. for our Hearthstone tournament where we will see Richie return to defend his title from the last one uh, as well as a few others that will come back and hopefully try and take it from him. So look forward to that. Make sure you come and join us. We're very excited to host it. We hope you're very excited to watch it. In the meantime, I have been Cause and Effects. This has been Noobs TV, and you have been watching us live down here at the Noobs Gaming Lounge. Hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Peace out.